one of spring's strongest trends, distressed denims. One of our very strong trends for spring is denim. And as I've been shopping and looking around, it's very expensive. It's so expensive. I looked, and I know I was probably at the wrong store, but I was at a high-end store and I looked at a pair of leggings, jean leggings, denim leggings, were $200. Like, that's just amazing to me. So we're going to look at some treatments and fun stuff you can do to denim. Um, part of the look is roughed up. You don't have to rough them up. Um, and when I say rough them up, they're cut, they're sanded, they're done all kinds of things to them. But dark denim especially is really popular. And the good news, and that's good news for us because it makes us look slimmer. So I'm going to sand some denim. I'm going to show you what it's done, the cuts. And the cuts are great and the sanding on top of the cuts make the cuts even better. The only thing I want you to recognize is if the cuts are too big, then they they're not going to work in your favor. So let, let me just show you what I've done and then what I'm going to do. These are my leggings. I've cut them out. Now what I've done to this denim is I have washed it in Coca-Cola. I know I've mentioned this numerous times and I think y'all know about this, but <clears throat> I've washed it in, um, I have a front loader. I've put it on a low, a small load. I've put a can of Coke in the soap dispenser, nothing else. Put it on um, quick wash. And the denim is just incredible. It's so soft. It's just really, really nice. Um, don't wash it again. You don't need to do anything else. Just throw it in the dryer and you're good. Um, not Diet Coke, not anything. Just Coca-Cola. If you have a top loader, you'll have to use a higher concentration of Coke. And, and I've heard it said back from you customers is that if you use like a quart of Coke to a low wash and just again pour it into the washing machine just as you would regular soap. Okay, so I've washed it and then I put them in the dryer, so I, I love it. I mean, I just, I'm so excited about my fabric. It's ridiculous. Um, but again, I, I want to rough it up, but I, I don't want to rough mine up a lot. Now, I, what I would recommend is you practice on some, some scraps, and this is what I like. You can see, and well, maybe you can't see, but it's sanded, and it's definitely a lighter color. But the cuts are too big. Like that cut, by the time you, you put that on, it's just going to be too big. And I want little cuts. I want a little distress, but I don't want a lot. So that's the fun thing about doing them for yourselves because you can determine how much stress you want in your jeans or in your life. Um, I don't want too much stress. A little bit of stress is all I want. Now, the denim, in this particular case, I have one-way stretch on the denim. The, the denim stretch is going around the body. So make sure that when you're sanding and doing all this stuff, you're doing it with the non-stretch of the fabric. Other, you know, otherwise, it'll be the wrong direction. So I've kind of practiced on that. I know what I want. Um, I've put a li just little cuts here because that's all I really want. I just want it roughed up a little bit. You know, maybe you could put some to the side. You know, you want them kind of asymmetric. Actually, you don't. I do. I want them kind of asymmetric. And if you notice, I want them in my lower thigh area. I don't want them in my upper thigh because I don't like my upper thighs. <laughs> I think they're too big and I don't want them on my rear end. I don't want it that lightened because that's not what I want to accentuate. So again, the cool thing is, is you can kind of do it where you want and, and stay away where you don't want. So the sander I'm using is sander, just a straight sander. What I noticed is you want to use a real rough paper because that'll just get your job done faster. And you don't want to use something circular because your threads are going up and down. They're not going circular. So the circular, I actually tried a circular and the circular didn't, it took forever. So this is pretty quick. I'm not going to talk while this is on and we might even mute the sound because it's annoying. But just an FYI, oh, what you need to do is weigh down your, weigh down one end. Like I got a piece of tile, weigh down one end, obviously, because it will pull and then just hold the other end. And you know, you just work it and work it until you're ready, until you like it. So it might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes, it just all depends on what you like and when you're ready to call it a day. Okay, so let me just show you a couple things that that did. First off, it's much lighter, but I don't know if you all can see that on the camera. But you can see where where everything, everywhere I cut, 
you get a much higher contrast. You get a much faster wear and you get a much higher contrast of wear. So that's what I'm saying to you. That for me is at my knee. I've marked where my knee is and that's where I, that's really where I want it. I don't want it to look brand, brand new, but I don't want it to look like it's literally purposely been cut. I want it to look like I really worn these for 40 years and they're just old. So that's kind of the look I decided I wanted. So that's why the little cuts are good and you, you can spread them out as often as you want to just create that. I'm gonna sand that a little bit more, but you've seen enough sanding. So I'm gonna go make up the leggings and then I'll show you when they're on. Now again, sanding is really fun. You could do all other different kinds of things. There's bleach, there's lots of things, but I didn't wanna mess with the color. I just wanted it to look a little worn. Again, if you'll look and shop and even go online, denim is all over the place and abuse, abuse to denim is really, really popular. And this is just really fun. It doesn't take very long. It really doesn't. I think it, it takes longer to think about what you're going to do than it does to actually do it. But I'm going to continue sanding and then we'll make them up. All right. See you in a minute. So the coolest thing about making these is I keep cutting them after I wear them <laughs> to kind of get them to be what I want. I'm not sure what I want, but it's kind of fun to just be able to take scissors and cut your pants. <laughs> and the other good news is, is you want to wash them like a whole bunch. So wear them, wash them, wear them, wash them. They're indestructible. Just wash your denim beforehand. Remember the whole Coca-Cola thing. And they're just so much fun. They fit great. They feel great. And they're so inexpensive. There you have it. Happy Sewing from Silhouette Patterns. Yeah.